But is this really part three of my story? Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. All right. So if you watch part one, you know what the fuck happened. If you watch part two, you know what the fuck happened. And now we're at part three. You don't know what happened. All right. Part three. It starts with Shannon and I in a car, and we're on our way to Farm Bureau Live. Um, I wish I had the shirt. The shirt is, like, I, I felt I looked really pretty. I wore my hair the same exact way I wore it to the studio. It Like, I had some down in the front. The rest was pinned back and held with a clip. And I had it out around the back. So, the shirt I had on. If you've gone to the Zazzle thing that I've posted... Um, there's a tote bag that has Paris, London, Tokyo on it. The design for that tote bag is actually a shirt that I designed for myself. And I'm going to design it again so that you all can. If you, I don't, like, when I design those things, I just design them. I really honestly didn't expect for people to buy them. But the way that the shirt is, it has uh, Paris and it's a picture of the Eiffel Tower. London, and it's a picture of Big Ben, and then Tokyo at the bottom, towards the bottom of the shirt, and it's um, a picture of the Tokyo skyline, and on the back, it says, thinking about you worldwide, in like, really bright letters, um, I'll, before I post this, I'll put the link of the shirt in there, um, that shirt I got made, I got it made over, three months ago um, when I knew that I was coming well when I knew that I was going to Bristol I got the shirt made and so um, I wore that shirt some blue jeans and some sandals and we you know we were on our way and so we um, this for this show we were seated to, we were seated together I'm sorry, I just got a message. Okay. We were seated together. Um, I'm turning my phone off because somebody pissed me off. We were seated together. We were seated uh, in row C in the pit that's like the orchestra section that's right in front of the stage. This is the second orchestra, row C. And so we were like seat 27. So we were like center. Or like off to the side just a little bit. And we got there. We, uh, I went and bought my merch. Who would have fucking knew that three pieces of merchandise would come up to $60? I bought the little light saber thingy. Um, a shirt and a poster. So... Like sixty dollars. Uh, yeah, I was shocked as hell when she said sixty dollars, and I said, "Oh, here, take this. Charge it to the game." Um, the joys of working two jobs. So we did that, and we walked to our section, and we walked past Vicky. Vicky is Daisy's for you on Twitter. I can't think of her Tumblr name. I think it's Daisy for you. I really do. But we walked past Vicky. And I didn't notice her at first. So we get into our seats. And I just happened to stand up. And I turn around. And she looks at me. And she waves. And I'm like, Vicky! Like, this, that was my first time seeing her. And I say all my friends are beautiful. Vicky is just a package of bubbly joy. You know, rolled into beautiful and like... Her spirit is just so free, and like her boo, her boo is like my my junk now. That's my heart now. Like Vicky and Boo are like, I love them. They're so they're so cute together. Like it made me sick just how cute they were together. Like y'all are so cute. Ugh, I'll never have that. Um, Vicky sent me a text and was like, like and fate played a huge part with this because. My seat, Vicky was in Orchestra 2, row L. I was in Orchestra 2, row, th uh, row C. And my seat was in front of hers. 
Like, literally in front of her. If I stood up and turned around, I'm seeing, you know, everybody else and Vicky. And so, I, I feel like, you know, um, part of me feels like this was supposed to happen. You know, it's one of those, you, you don't expect to meet so many people. I didn't expect to meet so many adult rushers. And Vicky's one of the girls that I, I text on a a daily basis. Um, besides Shanice, Ashley, Marvy, I text Sharon, and Desi, and Risa, and Sammy, you know. Those are basically, that's not my, I wouldn't call it my Russia click or my Russia inner circle. That's my Russia heart. But I have so much room for others in my Russia heart. I'm not just limited, uh, limiting it to just those girls. Um, But it was really crazy that I stood up and I saw her and she wanted to know what my sign said. So Vicky is short and like. She was like, don't keep the signs up for too long. And I was like, for you, I would not do that. I want you to see the show. She ended up didn't because some little girls were standing on their chairs. You will experience that. You know, it's fucked up. Because I had to experience it also, and I'm in the third round. Um, I need to crack my neck. But she wanted to see my signs. And so I held up the first sign. And like I said in the other video, the first time was, Logan, I heard you're looking for a girlfriend. I'm looking for a boyfriend. And so from everybody who was behind row C to row L, they got to see my sign when I showed it for Vicky. And it was like, oh, that's so cute. And I was like, okay. And then I held up the other sign that said, from DC to VA Beach to be Logan's worldwide girl. And it was like, oh, you know, that's really sweet. The show started. And Leon Thomas the third came out. Everybody knows Leon as Andre from Victorious. It might be crazy. Have I told you lately? Yeah. You know, when he was sitting there after the, the food thing. I like food. You know, and then he was upset. He was drinking his chocolate drink. And then he started singing that song. Turns out he wrote that song when he was 14. And then two years later, it was featured on Victorious. But before he even got to that song, like, he was singing. And first and foremost, he's extremely, like, very, like, he's very, very talented. So, and his arms, I have to remember he's younger than me. Um, he's almost nine years younger than me, so... I'm not really ready to earn my cougar title, uh, title yet, but he's CGI. Like, mm, he's CGI. Um, he was singing and like he plays the guitar. His set was so great, and then he got to this song. Like he was dancing and everything. He got to this song called "Bad." I'm going to actually, um, if I remember. Post the um. I'm going to post the link for his album into the um. Put it into the description if I remember. If I remember, but he has a song called "Bad," and ah, uh, okay. I don't think I can post. I can let you all hear it. But, the words of the song says, this is me in my chair as he started singing. You know, he's, he's you know, whatever. And he says, age ain't nothing, you ain't saying nothing. Girl, I know I'm young, but I can teach you something. And I was like, wow, where did that come from? And like, he's grinding and gyrating and he does this dance move where he's on the floor and I'm like and I looked around like you know, like being so serious I looked around like 
He don't know that there's a kids here, but yes, I'm enjoying it. Go ahead, baby, work it. Show mama a little something. Do some strange, something strange for a little change. Like, I think Sharon was like, this girl is crazy. <laughs> I love a handsome man. I'm sorry. I do. I love handsome men. I love men who are beautiful. And I'm not just saying, look, if your soul and your personality is beautiful, then you are beautiful. I love beautiful people. I'm, I do. I do. That's what I'm going to say to Logan, y'all. I do. And he's going to be like, baby, I know you do. Come on, let's get married. Anyway, um, so Leon is singing his song, and he's grinding. And, like, I'm listening to the words, like... is this oh my like and so he does the the song from victorious and that's the only song that i knew at that point so i'm all it might be crazy like dancing and singing and whatever and like sure like stand up i'm like no i don't want to stand up so um his set was over and i had seen cody at the uh the the, the bristol show but it's it's hard. It's different seeing Cody up live. One, he can really sing. Two, he can really dance, and he has a backup dancer who has like tattoos on him. Baby CGI. And if y'all don't know what CGI means, tweet me at m s underscore n i k k i two, or hit me up on the Adult Rushers Inc dot tumblr dot com or comment on this video because you don't know what CGI means and mama would tell you I would let you know he's CGI too like and so um I had seen Cody's show I wanted I wanted more than anything to go meet Leon y'all like I was like I gotta meet this boy like this boy had me fanning myself with posters like Whoa, you know, but I'm one of those people who I'm extremely aware of the people around me and my surroundings. And we were in the middle of the world and we had already dealt with people who kept coming past us, like knocking my purse on the floor. And I took my Kate Spade and my Kate Spade cost like $200. So like people walking past us and we had already been dealing with that. Um, I cut my phone back on because I really wanted y'all to hear Leon's song. Hold on. I'm going to let y'all hear it because this song is sexy. It, it's one. I, I started talking about Cody. Now I'm thinking about Leon again. Oh, my gosh. Like, yeah. This is for Ashley and Nika who... Nika is going to go see Leon tomorrow. Uh, go see BTR, Leon and Cody tomorrow. And Ashley is going to go see them in September. I don't know if y'all can hear. Alright, I'm done. That's enough. I can't hear no more. Um, yeah, but back to Cody. When I first saw, Co saw Cody in Bristol, like, he, he asked, could he get comfortable first, right? So, here he is taking off his little jacket, and he's exposing his little muscles. And then he goes, well, I want to introduce myself. My name is Cody Simpson. I'm 15. I'm 15. What? No. I was just like, for real? Put your clothes back on then. So, um, Cody came out. He did his set. And, like, now it's big time rush time. And, I, like I said, I saw the show in Bristol. 
it is something totally different being right there third round. And so, um, basically, they came out. I can't remember the way the songs are going. So, I'm going to tell you things that happened during the show. It, it'll be out of sync, but these are things that happened during the show. Now, if you've seen the other parts, you know by now that um, I had, I met um, the guys earlier that day. And I still had, um, I still had, you know, had those signs or whatever. I'm trying to read uh, Twitter. I still had my signs and everything. Um, and so it's kind of like I'm third row now. And they're starting the show. So they're doing Elevate. When I say and share it as my witness, I did the Elevate dance from the Better With You tour as they got to... Elevate a little higher, you know, let's throw a party in the sky and celebrate that elevate a little, you know, do that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I did the dance while they were dancing. Any song that I knew the, um, any song that I knew the, um, the dances too from the Better With You tour, I was doing it. So, like, I would get eye contact with the guys. Like, Kendall looked at me. Um, James smiled. Like, Sharon had to sign up, and James looked over at us. Sharon had signed herself up. Um, you know, like, I went into this concert because Sharon and I had this long conversation. And I was like, you know, yeah, my friends, they, they, not my, 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 the followers, the people I follow, my friends, whatever, they tweet, they Tumblr, you know, they tumble, Tumblr, these scenarios, and they're saying how Logan looked at them, or how he blew a kiss at them, how Carlos waved, how James did this, how Kendall did that. I don't believe it. I don't believe that. Like, what if they was looking at somebody else, you know? And she's like, no, you just know that, like, you know they're looking at you. They make sure you know that, you know, they're looking at you. And I was like, I don't believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Um, I, it was one song where I held up the, it was before Boyfriend, but I held up the, um... The Logan, I heard you're looking for a girlfriend sign. I'm looking for a boyfriend sign. And Logan points and winks and smiles at me. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, did that just happen? And me and Sharon are fangirling like, he saw my sign. Logan, I walk with a limp because your bitches on my dick. Henderson saw my sign. And he reacted to my sign. And so, um, I, <laughs> I was stuck. Like, James waved at Sharon. And uh, Logan did the day. <laughs> I have to say the story about this. Okay. Um, I had, I made a tweet that said, if I was ever picked as a worldwide girl to prevent myself from crying, I will Dougie, Stanky Leg, um, Cat Daddy, uh, and Cat Daddy. And then Nika was like, don't forget twerk. So I said, okay, I'll twerk too, just to prevent myself from crying. Like, you know, thinking about, you know, whatever. So, thinking about you, you know, whatever. Or whatever. So I would dance and just act the fool and have fun. Sharon thought it would be funny to make a sign that says, teach me how to Dougie. And then I'm supposed to Dougie. Whatever. So she held up her teach me how to Dougie sign when Logan was on outside. And sure enough, Logan Dougie. And his Dougie is so fresh. His Dougie. is fresh. So, um... 
you know, we're, I'm having these moments with these guys, like, they see my sign, they see me dancing, they see me singing, and they see everyone around me who are basically doing the same thing, and, like, they're waving at us, and they're blowing kisses, and it's like, you make the experience so much more personable than what we expect it to be, basically. So, um, I'm going to get emotional with this part because in part two, in part one, I think, I mentioned how we didn't meet Carlos at the radio station. Um, he zoomed past us. And so, there's this... They were about to do Cover Girl. And I only bought two signs. The boyfriend sign and the worldwide sign. And so I held up the worldwide sign. And so um, Carlos is on my side. And then I think it was Logan, James, and Kendall. I can't remember because Carlos was in front of me. And... I really wanted to meet him. Y'all know I feel like Carlos's little brother. That's that. That's little brother. Carlos's little brother. James and Kendall are best friends. Um, and Logan is future husband. Dustin is also a best friend. But Carlos's little brother. And so um, he's sitting in front of us on a stool, and I'm holding up my worldwide sign and if you don't know what it said I've said it a billion times from DC to VA to be Logan's worldwide girl and this is I'm this, I'm Carlos now he goes like to me he he ran my sign and he was like really and I was like yes and, and like we're we're having this conversation I'm in the third row he's on the stage and he asked me he's like really you know really and I'm like yeah I came from DC I was in the radio parking lot circling around for five hours waiting for you and he was like five hours circling <laughs> Uh, I don't know if y'all can hear me, what I'm saying, but we were whispering, I guess, so just like mouthing, whispering, whatever. Um, but I said that, you know, yeah, I'm from D.C. And I w spent five hours in the radio parking lot circling around looking for you, like looking for y'all. And he was like, Really? Five hours circling around. I'm like, yes. And I was like, we met them. We didn't meet you. And Carlos does the sweetest thing ever. He looks at me and he goes, I'm sorry. And I'm like, don't worry. No, 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 no. Thank you. Like, don't know. Oh. I felt horrible that Carlos said sorry to me, though, for real. Like, I'm crying again. Um, I felt bad that Carlos said, I'm sorry. But he don't realize that my the moment that I had with him as he's on the stage in front of thousands of people, and we're talking about my sign, and me and Sharon in that parking lot, and circling around looking for them and we didn't get the chance to meet him was the highlight my moment like I had a moment with James and I had a moment I had moments with Logan and I had a moment with Kendall and my moment with Carlos crazy it was it was wow and so um You know, it was kind of like one of those, uh, like, I kind of didn't know, um, okay, why is this video still processing, get it together, okay, come on now, I'm, 
uploading video number two. Um, but it was kind of like, okay, well, basically, what now, so to speak? Um, that moment with Carlos, it defined everything. It was perfect. And I'm not a Carlos girl. I'm a Logan girl. But Carlos noticed my sign. And he talked to me about my sign. And, you know, he apologized that I didn't get to meet him at the radio station. But you had to get inside. You know, I'm not, I'm not mad. I don't want anybody to think like, bitch, you met them earlier. Oh, you're so ungrateful. I'm not mad at Carlos. I was never mad at Carlos. And so I guess that's why I felt bad that he said I'm sorry. Like, you didn't have to apologize to me. Because I know that you have a job to do. You need to get inside those doors at that radio station. And you did. And we couldn't see you when you left. That's fine. But the fact that you took the time out to acknowledge that sign, it was amazing. And I thank him for that. And, like, you know, it, it's like, it's those things that they do that makes me love them more than anything. You know, more than other bands, more than other artists. It's those things, those little things. Where whispering to a fan who came from D.C., I'm sorry because I didn't get that chance to meet you or you didn't get that chance to meet me. You know, oh wait, okay, I'm sorry, I'm concert part number two, and I'm just trying to uh, make sure everything is together with that, but um, it was great, it was this defining moment, so to speak, it was great. Um, so we kind of counted that as my me and Carlos because we had a conversation while he was on stage, whatever. And the mission for the weekend plus few days, <laughs> um, the mission for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday was to meet Kathy. Well, this is what I said. I said I wanted to meet Kathy. Uh, big Time Rush, meaning Logan, Carlos, James, and Kendall. I wanted to meet Raynell. And I wanted to meet Dustin. Wait, let's see. Yeah. And then I said, and the two dogs. But then I was like, I'm going to take the two dogs off because the two dogs, you know. So there were seven people that I wanted to meet this weekend. I met seven of the people that I wanted to meet. And Sharon was like, that's more than what? This is your second BTR concert in one weekend. You know, you met the, this is your first concert on Sunday and then your second concert Tuesday. And between Sunday and Tuesday, you've basically met all seven of the people that you wanted to meet. Or you've seen and spoke to the seven people that you wanted to speak to and, you know, whatever. So... I'm grateful. Um, there's this much. <laughs> Logan kept looking at me and like smiling, like he saw my worldwide sign. You know, he smiled. I didn't get picked as this worldwide girl. I'm not mad. Um, quick shout out to Emily. Out of all the worldwide girls that was picked at Virginia Beach, Emily is the one that I know. Like, whose name I remember, um, whose story I remember. Emily beat cancer twice. And Kendall picked her as his worldwide girl. And as, you know, she came up to the stage, she kissed her head. It was one of the sweetest things I've ever seen in my life. As someone who, you know who just despises all that is cancer and I hate the fact that it makes people go through people as young as Emily was Emily is like 20 I think um let me check her age out because she follows me on Twitter she's such a sweetheart though um 
if I'm not mistaken, she's like, I think she's like 20. Um, hold on, I'm checking this out. I need to check this out. You all need to know Emily's story. She's 20. She's had, she uh, had cancer twice. And she survived cancer twice. She's a survivor. She's a fighter. She's an inspiration. Because we all go through um, trials and tribulations in life. And there are people who may have gone through more, you know, whatever. But she beat cancer twice. And that speaks volumes. She lost her hair due to chemo. And I am beyond ecstatic that Kendall picked her because you could see the happiness in her face and in her eyes and she deserves that happiness. So, um, I'm crying about Emily, oh my god. Um, but James's Worldwide Girls sang the song like they do this little trick in front of the, like, to the people they pick and they're like, oh yeah, well, since you're on stage, you sing the song here. And James Worldwide Girls was like, thinking about, like, sounded amazing. And James is like, wow. <laughs> like, all the guys is like, wow, didn't expect for anyone to do that. And James is like, you have a really beautiful voice. Um, and Carlos picked a kid, so I don't remember Logan's Worldwide Girl. Um, I don't remember much about her, but those were the three. I know that she, like, he held her hand and everything, and I think he kissed her on the cheek. I can't watch. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, it was like, it was, it was great. Um... Doing <laughs> music sounds better with you. Told y'all I danced like the songs, like all this, the movements I remembered I danced to. So for music sounds better with you, and they go, it feels like, and you know, they do the slide. Like, so me and Kendall, like Kendall's in front of us, and when he slides, I'm sliding. I'm like, it feels like, and so he's looking at me as he's sliding with a smile on his face, you know, singing or whatever. So Sharon's like, you dance with Kendall. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Like, he, he saw me doing the dance movements. And he's smiling like, oh, she's doing the dance movements. You know, whatever. So that's that. Um, doing Show Me, um, I was doing the, the Better With You tour uh, dances. And I know that Logan, like, looked over towards us. So when we got the... Um, Got to the, got what I need, and they do the little hip hip thing. The, you know, I put a little ha ha ha, and they're like, yeah, baby, you got what I need. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that was that. Um, show um, windows down. No, wait. When they got to the Beatles part, right? Um, they asked the crowd what's their favorite Beatles song, and I screamed out, "Logan, will you marry me?" <laughs> So, like, <laughs> James looked over like, it's not a goddamn beauty song. <laughs> but everybody in the, in our vicinity started laughing, like, what's your favorite beauty song? The only way you marry me! So, like, they were like, okay. Um, so that happened. Let's see what else happened. Um... I said the music sounds out of here. Okay, so they got to uh, they got to windows down, and dude, if you have seen my videos and you saw my reaction video to windows down, and you know that I slow grind on Logan's part, like slow grind on Logan's part. Slow grind on Logan's part. I'm looking up the damn which one. 
I'm looking up windows down so I can show y'all how I so look at that oh, oh. I'm sorry we had to pause because oh Kendall you're on my screensaver um trying to find Logan's part well I'm trying to find windows down oh my god um So, at the concert, Logan and Carlos goes onto the platform in front of the trampoline, and they do a slow bounce. And so, oh. Uh, He looks so fucking delicious that I want to, like, lick him up with my spoon. Like. So, they do a slow bounce, and he's like, everybody knows. Like, he's bouncing. Oh, he looks so good. So, I did the slow bounce. Carlos was really on outside, but, like, Logan was looking towards us. And so, I did the. Every, the slow bounce, and then I started, you know, grinding. Like, I don't care that there are kids behind me. I didn't birth them. They didn't come out my womb. I didn't carry them. I'm grinding because Logan is singing. Oh, my God. This is sex or, like, air. and Grinding, like, full-fledged porno grinding. <laughs> and he looks over, and he starts smiling. Like, he saw me grinding. <laughs> He should have invited me back to his tour bus. That's what he should have did. So, um, yeah, that happened. <laughs> the grinds happened. Um, trying to remember what else happened. I can honestly say that I interacted with, like, all of the guys. Um, me and Logan had Kendall, but Kendall, I said Kendall was giving me green-eyed sex, y'all. Like, Kendall is so passionate about when he's performing. He's so passionate. Like, it's crazy. It's it's crazy how passionate those guys are. It was a point where Kendall was bending over, and I could see the sweat. And he's on the other side of the stage. You can see the the sweat dripping from his face, like dripping off of him. And I'm like, I ruined my makeup. I sweat, like, I was sweaty. It was so hot in there that the dye from my brand new blue jeans got onto the bottom of my worldwide shirt. So the bottom of the shirt is now blue. Um, it was crazy. Like, and I had, at the fair, no, oh, I keep saying Fairfax. At the Bristol show, there was a Russian mom who sat next to me who got up and danced and had, a like, an amazing time. It was to the point where you all know that I have the, the red buttons. Um, I had some in my purse. I don't know why, but I just so happened to look in my purse, and I had an extra one at the Bristol show. And so, I gave it to the little girl who was sitting next to me, and she freaked out. She had, she loved it. That's the, you know, the response that I want. Uh, ah, you know, oh my God, thank you so much. You know, um, when we got to the radio station, the Russia princesses, I walked over to them, and I was like, I come bearing gifts, and I gave them, you know, each of them one. And, like, they freaked out. That's what I love. That's, older rushers don't do that. You know, because it's like, oh, it's a big time rush. You know, we, you know, whatever. But the younger rushers flip out. Or the younger rushies, I don't really care for that term. Flip, she, those three girls flip out for that button. Um, 
I ended up getting um confetti and streamers and place it like down my shirt. Uh so we <laughs> it was crazy. Like all in all, this is a forty minute video. All in all, um my experience was amazing. I've decided that should anyone, any adult rusher for the next tour want to do a um, road trip to some of the shows, I'm not saying let's go to half the shows or all the shows because that's expensive. If anyone wants to see 10 shows with me, maybe do VIP twice or three times. You know, let me know because this weekend will always be, it'll always be inspirational and like, it'll always be memorable. Um, I honestly thank BTR for everything. Stopping past us, um, talking to us, being as inter like energetic and crazy. And but, so, like, oh wait, sorry. Um, being as crazy and energetic as they were, um, I probably um. I'll put it in the microwave. I gotta eat too, you know. Just everything. Everything. <laughs> Vicky told me don't be knocking boxed wine. Look, Vicky. The boxed wine is good. <laughs> Vicky told me don't be knocking boxed wine because I said only culture just drink boxed wine. I'm sorry, but I just think boxed wine is ugly. It's ugly. It comes in a box and oh, I'm tearing it all up. <laughs> and then somebody else mentioned it. Melanie mentioned the box wine also. No, I ain't finished the box wine yet. <laughs> huh. I'm about to finish the box wine, ladies and gentlemen. No, man, they said no. I'm going to get on me about boxed wine, y'all. <laughs> but um, what was I about to say? I honestly thank Big Time Rush for the amount of fun and pleasure that I had. And I like I strongly suggest that if you do not know, you know, um Leo Thomas his his music, at least listen to bad. Forever will get you. Forever will get you. That song is really, really powerful. But listen to bad. So, that's all. Deuces!